Thank you. I can bend the rules, but there are limits. I'd rather your client be more careful. Hello, Miss Myers. I see fate has brought us together again. And might I say, you're looking lovely today. You're a go-getter, aren't you, Mr... Marks Frost, at your service. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Frost. How do you know my name, Mr. Frost? Who doesn't know the famous Anna Myers? I'm so excited to meet you. How about dinner today? The Franciscana, perhaps? They have a pretty good wine list. I'll pass, Mr. Frost. Blunt as always. I love it. All right, well, another time. See you. I didn't know you knew each other. We don't, really. He just helped me fend off a couple of thugs. Who is this Marx Frost? He's an NDR operative. The Army Intelligence Service? What are they doing here? That's classified. I can't share the details. <laughs> You'd like to know more about him, wouldn't you? Is it connected to our case? <laughs> Disappointingly for you, no. I paid Gustav a visit today. Looks like he's having trouble letting things go. What do you mean? He's obsessed with revenge. On the upside, I'm doubtful he has any leads. What makes you say that? He's grasping at straws. Heartbreaking. But it's better that way. Remember the high heel from yesterday? It belongs to a girl. Her name's Susan. But the soles of the shoes are smooth. Looks like it's not her who stepped in the bloodstain. Still, we have to get a statement of her. Anything else? Yes. I think I've got something that might help us identify the victim. Petrus Kramer. Already done. He worked for ZPE detectives. Oh, I see. Does that give you any new leads? ZPE says he didn't have an active investigation going. However, he could have been working off the books. He might have been tracking down the murderer. That would make a thrilling story, but I privilege evidence over speculation. He bought in Petrus's work documents for Dirk to look at. There might be something there. Let's go to the forensics lab. Any findings, Dirk? A single deep knife wound to the stomach and one to the back, both done with the same weapon. Also, blunt force trauma to the back of the head. Could be from hitting the ground. Highly unlikely. The dent suggests a heavy blow, using something like the grip of a handgun. There are also other signs of blows to his face. That doesn't make much sense to me. What doesn't, exactly? The non-fatal wounds suggest torture. Probably trying to make the victim talk. Once they get the information they're after, they usually finish you off quickly or let you go. Why would the assailant do neither of those? That's unusual. Maybe they just wanted the victim to suffer before they died? Could be. That would mean it was personal. Dirk, have you looked through Petrus's work documents? Not yet. I've been busy with the fingerprints from the crime scene. Everything is there. It's all yours.
check. A check from Iris Kniv made out to Petrus Krenn. She went out of her way to hide this. I wonder why. There are also a lot of receipts from restaurants around the area he was killed. By the way, Gustav saw a car fleeing the crime scene. He gave me this license plate number. Those are Italian plates. Correct. Can we identify the owner? Only if the owner ever violated traffic laws inside the country. You will find the database in the cupboard.
got it. Helmut Grass, 315561 GE, Swiss, evidently living in Italy. Here, have a look. That could be our killer. I'll file a notice right away. Unless you've got people in the underworld, that won't be necessary. What do you mean? He was killed last winter. I saw his dead body myself. Damn it. Are you certain? Yes. He was connected to the murders at Riga Hotel and perished at Chima di Vren. Right. Helmut was killed by his own organization. The killer was never caught. Could be the same person who was driving his car. It's possible. Uli, it's for you. Yes? Where? I'm on my way. What's going on? There's been another murder. Is it connected to our case? Seems likely. The body was found in the house next door. Let's go. The body was found on Kurzgasse. That's just steps from the boulevard. I'll meet you there. All right. Dirk, you too. Maybe Gustav was right. Maybe I do bring bad luck wherever I go. What are you talking about? Her name is Susie. I interviewed her for the article I'm writing. Did she share it? No, but someone might have assumed she did. A single bullet wound to the chest. Time of death? Roughly the same time as Petrus Kramer. Maybe a bit earlier. That estimate doesn't make sense. Why not? Our interview was just after we'd investigated the scene of Petrus's murder. She looked perfectly alive, I can tell you that much. Are you sure this is the same woman? Y yes Dirk will be able to pin it down. Until then, we should look around. Maybe my estimate's off. Air temperature and humidity can mess with these things. There must be something here that connects the murders. We can't know that for sure yet. Let's be guided by the evidence.
No gun, but I found a cartridge case. Petrus Kremer had a gun, right? Sorry, I'm late. Give me the cartridge case, would you? I'll run an analysis and let you know if it was fired from Petrus's gun. That's strange. What? Her ID reads Mitzi Vigit. She already had a different name that she went by professionally. Why have another one? She could have been up to something illegal. I'll check whether the document was forged. Anything else that seems odd about the passport? She appears to have a husband. She might have been hiding her money-making methods from him. Maybe he found out and things got out of control. I wonder where the owner of this apartment is. What do you mean? There are lots of items here suggesting a single man lived here for a while. Worn out men's trousers, shoes, and these dirty things. So vulgar. As I recall, the apartment belonged to Marie Paget, and she had no heirs. Looks like some crook took advantage of the situation. Hmm. Anna, you have to see this. <laughs>